Hey guys, I got a couple of my personal Glocks here. I've got a Glock 19 and a Glock 34. And as you can see, I've got them outfitted with some pretty cool accessories. I've got optics on both of them. I've got a Holosum 509T here on my 19, a Trigon SRO on my Glock 34, and I also have suppressor height sights, and of course, a suppressor here on my 34. Now, there are several reasons to have suppressor height sights. That's what I'm here to talk about today. In this case, uh, in the case of both these guns, actually, it allows me to co-witness my red dot with my iron sights. In other words, I can line up my iron sights and my red dot is gonna be right on top of my front sight when everything's properly adjusted and zeroed correctly. Also, this is important, if you're in the process of transitioning from iron sights to red dots like I did a couple of years ago, you're gonna find that you can use the suppressor height sights to find your red dot after lining up those iron sights. Uh, if you had the original low sights, the red dot would be hovering a fair amount above that front sight and be a little more difficult to find. Also, if you've got suppressor height sights already co-witnessed to your red dot and your optic fails for some reason, not likely to happen, but it could, you'll still have a zero. With your iron sights, you'll still be able to continue shooting accurately. Another reason to have suppressor height sights is the fact that suppressors usually get in the way of your sight picture with lower factory sights. In this case, I've got a nine millimeter suppressor here. This is a little safety check here, as always. Obviously, I always check before we shoot these videos, but we wanna be a good example. By the way, always check twice visually and physically to make sure your gun's empty. With this Omega 9K here, you see how the diameter of the tube could actually block your target if your sights were any lower than these. These are suppressor height sights, and they just barely hover over the top of this can when I've got everything lined up. So my suggestion is, if your pistol is optics ready and you don't have a red dot yet, or if you plan on having it milled for a red dot, or if you have a red dot and still have the original low factory sights, upgrade to suppressor height sights. It just makes sense. Enjoy that advantage you'll have shooting that red dot or shooting suppressed and still be able to see your target. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you know when we drop new videos. And we'll see you next time. You still here? Grab your guns and your range bag and go shooting.